Now that we know how custom functions are built, we can try a real example. So you can see here we have uh, a spreadsheet. It's got a bunch of video ideas IDs for YouTube. So if we go to youtube.com and we just we'll find a, a video here, we'll just click the first one we see. You'll notice at the top, let's go ahead and pause that, that we get a URL and the URL gives us the link to YouTube, but it also gives us this ID. So if we have a whole bunch of these IDs, we can use a, a custom function to give us the URL for this. So I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna take this, this whole, this whole big URL here, and I'm gonna open up my script editor. So I'll go to tools, script editor. And we get into the script editor, here we go. Now I have, we'll call this YouTube URL functions. I'm gonna hit okay. And we'll go ahead and say get URL, we'll change this function's name to get YouTube URL. And we'll give it the parameter video ID. And then we'll go ahead and save that. So we're gonna create that URL as a variable, var URL. And then we'll go ahead and just paste that in. So we have HTTPS www.youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals. And then all we have to do is add that URL. So we'll, we will say var video URL is equal to URL plus video ID. Then we will return that video URL. And now we should be able to return this. So let's go back to uh, our YouTube video links and we can use that function. Get YouTube URL and we'll pass in this the cell reference right here a2 and that's gonna just pull that up and you can see that's nice it automatically hyperlinked and everything so we can use this function now to copy for each one of these there we go and we get all of those URLs so now if I have all of these IDs I can just go ahead and I can click over and I can see these different uh, these different videos so pretty easy to create that custom function so we'll give it this a header. We'll just say link to video. There we go. So now we have all those links. Now we could also make this a little bit more complicated. You could, you know, one of the things that you might want to do is you might want to say, you know what, the first 10 seconds of every video, they're just not very interesting or useful. So we could also create a another function here that will give us a link with 10 seconds, you know, 10 seconds into the video. So link plus 10 seconds. We'll just go ahead and call that column link plus 10 seconds, we'll hit bold, and then let's go back to our script editor. So we're gonna go into our script editor, we're going to create a new function. Function get YouTube URL advanced. And we'll just say it's advanced by 10 seconds here. So we take the same video ID, and we'll do it the same kind of way. In fact, we could even just copy and paste our code here. We'll copy these two lines, and we'll paste those in. Let's go ahead and correct that formatting there. So we now have this URL, this video URL, and we can say var video URL plus 10 S is equal to video URL plus, and we're going to use the ampersand T equals 10. So what we're gonna construct here, we're gonna start off with this URL variable this is going to hold this big string. Then we're going to create a new variable from that string plus the video ID. Then this this and t equals 10. Any video that we have in YouTube, we can just put that in here and we can just say, you know, let's say we wanted to go 30 seconds in. We hit that and notice it starts the video 30 seconds in. So this ampersand 10 at the end, ampersand t equals 30, ampersand t equals 10, ampersand t equals whatever number of seconds we want to advance, we can use that to just change that video. So if we return video URL plus 10s, now when we use this function, we can say get YouTube URL advanced, and then we just pass in that ID again. Now see, we got the wrong name here. So let's Let's try this. What did we do wrong? We said get YouTube URL advanced. Let's try this. We'll go ahead and copy this. Oh, we didn't save our code. That's what the problem is here. So in there we get this nice URL that's advanced by 10 seconds. So now if I click that, you'll see this is automatically going to stop us 10 sec or start us 10 seconds into the video. 
So you can see how you can use these custom functions pretty easily to create um, this kind of basically manipulated text. Uh, and we'll get into more of the, the capabilities of custom functions in future modules. But for now, thank you for watching this, and I hope you were able to learn something about how we actually can employ custom functions in our spreadsheets.